So here we have a new 96 boards right here. So this is a brand new um, Ultra 96 as we launched yesterday uh, with Xanax and Avnet. I mean, this board has a lot of very unique feature and you know, we're really excited about this. Um, so this is the FPGA? This yes. is the FPGA, yes. So this is the Zinc Ultra Scale Plus FPGA with a ARM A53 SOC in chip. And then uh, this is the very popular uh, Xilinx FPGA solution, right? Uh, our Zinc family is, is a very, very popular SOC with FPGA acceleration functionality, yes. So, uh, uh, what's really cool to have this kind of uh, 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 development board? What can people do with it? People can use the um, ARM subsystem as, as a regular SOC, so they have a quad-core ARM A53, they have a dual-core ARM R5, um, memory controllers and a bunch of hardened devices on the chip. On top of that, they have a freely programmable FPGA fabric that can be used to either implement new functionality or to accelerate certain functions that uh, need to be run faster in hardware than in software. So this is exciting for the 96 boards to, uh, to get uh, this, this kind of board and uh, as part of the solutions? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in fact, I think uh, we're okay to say now we've been working with Xilinx team for a long time. <laughs> and uh, the interesting about this SOC, as, as uh, Carson just mentioned, is um, it's an MPSOC, right? It's actually a traditional SOC with a PL programmable logic on the same die. Well, the flexibility is really unique. I mean, one thing we launched in the Ultra 96 as also part of 96 Sport, the AI initiative, because FPGA acceleration is one of the main acceleration you know, vehicle for the machine learning, for the AI applications. And most of the case, you only find this in the server, in the cloud data center farm. You don't really see that on the edge device like this. This is the very first time people yeah. see and have access to the open platform like this. So, so this is a part of the AI, uh, the new AI website, the new AI launch? Yeah, uh, Ultra 96 is one of the, you know, one of the, uh, one of the founding uh, party of the 96 board AI initiative. But by no means that Ultra 96 can only be used for AI application. It's got all, as I said, the flexibility, the, especially the PL block has to offer, is very unique. And um, for, uh, within, you know, inside 96 board family, actually, I would like to see you know, in the SPC family uh, at large, uh, community at large. And uh, there's all these uh, regular ports from the regular uh, consumer edition uh, form factor, right? Yeah, I mean, the most of the ask, you know, is uh, quite standard, the 96 port CE. I mean, there are a couple of things which are quite y unique, but also allowed. And uh, actually, we dis did, did discuss with the design team, such as display ports. Uh, but uh, it is a 96 port CE compliant board. and. Uh, uh, all the documentation, you will find all the documentation on the 96 Sport website and the GitHub. So, is this a uh, Wi Fi over there? Yes, that that is a Wi Fi. Wi -Fi. Chip. Yeah, that is WL18. Uh, and then you have your chip uh, over there, or what? So, so the, the actual SOC is on the bottom of the device, uh, of the board, because yeah. uh, we need it also to have a, a thermal solution to take care of heat. So, what do uh, people usually use this kind of chip for? Like, all kinds of things. This chip is used in, in a drones. variety of, of applications. So, so uh, one prime application is actually machine learning, as Yang pointed out. That that is is one of the major applications and target market for this board. Um, it's also used in in automotive application, for example, um, in in video processing applications. We we have a variety. Uh, one version of the chip that includes a. Uh, video encoder, H.264, H.265 video encoder in the hardware, uh, so it can be used for image processing, video processing. So I imagine uh, Silex has a lot of uh, FPGA targeted uh, development tools and all that kind of stuff. It's all compatible right the, here? The, the, the board is fully supported by our tool flow, um, so there's uh, a version of the Vivado tools called Webpack that's available for free on our webpage that can be used to develop for this board. Uh, at time of, uh, once we release the board, uh, users will also get, uh, customers will also get a voucher for our SDSOC toolkit. 
all the developers' tools are, are, will be available with this board and supported by this board, yes. And uh, the hope right now is uh, by being part of the 96 boards, maybe there's going to be uh, more in the Linux world, more, more stuff, more support, even more stuff happening with this chip. So it could be great for the chip to have lots more happening. Xilinx has joined uh, Linaro in September last year and we are now a member of the uh, Light Group the, uh, concentrating on IoT and uh, as part of this membership we also joined uh, 96 boards and uh, released this board to the community so we, we hope that um, we, we can leverage the community for our devices but at the same time we're also bringing, bringing a lot to the table uh, by supporting the, the Naro and 96 And there's a price and availability for this one? The board will be available for $249 through FNIT. Uh, we're taking orders right now and uh, we're expecting to ship first boards in May.